Well, as we stay home to fight the spread of coronavirus in places where there should be crowds, we see no one. It is part of the eeriness of this silent fight. And tennis reporter Jim Matheny has more on those scenes today. As much as it's the sight, Wait. it is the sound. The sound of emptiness that jars you. When the only conversation you hear at the University of Tennessee just a few weeks before graduation Wait. is the voice of no one talking to nobody. Wait. The wait for a virus to slow its spread brings the curious sight of empty churches, an absence of communion that normally brews on patios on a perfect spring day, and a vacuum where music should resonate in historic theaters. This eeriness is matched only by the enamor of a blank canvas you may never get to see again. And on it, we paint memories people will share to the disbelief of future generations about the time a virus emptied the Great Smoky Mountains and the silence was deafening and devastating to businesses, where even the ghost stayed out of downtown Knoxville. And the silence bloomed on college campuses, with no students climbing the steep steps or struggling to push the heavy library doors or circling to find a place to park while cramming for exams. But don't mistake this silence for consent. It is not the sound of surrender. It's the rumble of battle, a counterattack to starve an enemy that would prey on our most vulnerable. It's the sound of sacrifice, of unselfishness, and even perseverance to make the silence golden. This is not the story of people who hid in the dark and trembled. It's a tale of teamwork and community courage to engage in a quiet fight, to shadow with oneself and give light to others, and resolve to erase the jarring sounds of nothing. Wait. In Knoxville, Wait. Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News.